Well, traveling in the uh, Soviet Union in the early 90s, uh, we did some workshops at Ulyanovsk Polytechnic Institute, and they knew I was a computer collector, and while I was there, they gave me one of the computers that they use in their classes to teach some uh, machine language programming. This computer uh, uses a Z80 microprocessor, and it's a small unit. See the keyboard here actually is a lot of English uh, nomenclature on the keyboard. And, um, you know, this computer, they had a whole bunch of them in the classroom. I turn it over and look at the bottom side. See, it was made um, in 1991. Fifth month, there's a serial number on there and some Cyrillic. Looking at the back side for the input output, looks like they used a lot of DIN connectors. These are some little potentiometers here. I don't know exactly what they adjust. And here's a reset. Also, you notice on here there's some Cyrillic characters. And it looks like uh, five DIN connectors. Some little Cyrillic there. So this is the input output. Hook your tape cassette up here and so forth. And like I said, a Z80 based a micro microcomputer. And we'll take a look here at the manual. Pull the cover off. Take a look inside. Well, here's a computer with the cover off, with the keyboard showing. We're going to look inside and take the keyboard off and look a little bit closer. But look at the keys. There, even though this is a Soviet computer, there's a lot of English, and you'll see that in the manual too. There's some things on the keys that I don't fully understand. It doesn't really look Cyrillic. Uh, the keyboard is mostly in English, um, but there's a little bit of Cyrillic here and there on the keyboard, and some symbols I don't understand. But it certainly. Um, a mixture of, of English and Cyrillic, or, and you'll see that in the manual too. So it's a very uh, nicely built little system. And uh, unfortunately, I've never actually run the computer because I can't read all the Cyrillic. But anyway, let's take a look Here's inside. The computer inside, the one from Ulyanovsk, and the keyboard over here. And, like I said, I don't recognize too many of the chips in here. But we do have the uh, processors, a Z80 from Japan, Sharp. Um, of course, a lot of companies made the Z80. There's two EEPROMs here. Uh, the most of the rest of the chips I do not recognize, even if I studied it closely, I may. Most of these chips are date marked uh, around 19, 1990. Well, here's the manual that goes with this uh, Soviet computer. Unless you read Cyrillic, you won't be able to read this. But uh, it does say 1991 on it. And the interesting thing is, if we look inside, most of the work in here seems to be programming in BASIC. And so you see some English, and then the Cyrillic, or the language they use in uh, Russia or uh, Soviet Union, Russian particularly. Um, and, uh, you know, I can't read much of this, so I can't give you much comment. I just wanted to show a little bit of what's in here. Like I said, the instructions are a combination of, of English and then Cyrillic. All the way to the back. It looks like the whole manual is... Uh, manual of uh, how to program in BASIC. Of course it has some diagrams in it, so it has some theory of operation as well. Look here, a lot of, uh, since I can't read too much of it, thank you so much for uh, <laughs> being patient with me, I appreciate it. But this computer has been a fun thing. The project, of course, in the Soviet Union was extremely interesting.